Grade 7 math number 7.3a, solve and graph a two-part inequality. Before we solve an inequality, we need to remember the multiplication and division property of inequalities, which says when we multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, we must reverse the direction of the inequality sign for the statement to remain true. So that's multiplying or dividing both sides by a negative number. Whatever operation we do to one side of the inequality, we must do to the other, just like we did with the algebraic equations. If 3x is on one side of the scale and 15 is on the other side of the scale, to get this x by itself, we would have to divide by 3 to remove this 3. That would create a, a 1. But if we divide by 3 on this side, we've got to divide by 3 on this side. And our solution would be x is less than 5. Let's take a look at this. We have 10 minus 0.75p is less than or equal to 7. Well, we need to find the difference between 7 and minus 10 when we take 10 away from both sides. We start here. We create a zero pair so that we've just got negative 0.75p on this side and 7 minus 10 well, 10's so big, it's going to push the 7 into the negatives, isn't it? So it's going to become negative 3. So now we've got negative 0.75p is less than or equal to negative 3. So we divide both sides by the negative 0.75 to isolate this p by itself. This creates our friend, the invisible 1. And he's actually sitting here. We just don't see him, right? And we don't write him because we can see there's 1p. And because we divided by a negative 0.75, we have to switch the sign's direction. So now p is greater than or equal to 4. We did our division. Negative and negative makes a positive, so it's a positive 4. Now to graph it, if p is greater than or equal to 4, then it includes 4 because it could be equal to it. So we use a black dot. See, we use this filled in black dot because that means it's included in the answer. And then we draw our arrow showing all the greater numbers that it could be. It's greater than or equal to 4. The, 0.7, the negative 0.75p became a positive p after we divided both sides by the negative 4. See, we had a negative 0.75p, and once we divided it by that negative 0.75, it got rid of the negative. Now it's just a p, a positive p. And the negative is gone from this side too. That's why we have to switch the sign around because it's not greater than a negative number, it's smaller than a positive number, see? And it's not smaller than a negative number, it's greater than a positive number, see? It flips it around. So because that negative was eliminated, changing the direction of the sign helped the statements remain true, see? That is why we switch the sign around. We're getting rid of that negative and turning the p into a positive. All right, let's take a look at this one. We have negative 8y plus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. So step 1 is to subtract 4 from each side, and we do. And 0 take away 4 is negative 4. This created a 0 pair, and it got rid of it, didn't it? It eliminated it. So now we just have negative 8y is greater than or equal to a negative 4. Our next step is to divide both sides by the negative 8. And we do, and we get 0.5. So y, we switch the sign. See, it was open to the left. Now it's open to the right. y is now less than or equal to 0.5. We switched the directions because we got rid of the negative here. We created a 1 because the numerator and denominator were the same. See? Now, if we want to graph this, y is less than or equal to 5. So that means it includes 5. So we put in a filled in black dot and drew our line going towards less. See? So remember, if it's a black dot, it means it's included in the answer. If it's an open circle, it means it's not included. But every number up to it is included, even little 99ths of decimals and, and fractions. And remember, as we move to the left on a number line, 
it's becoming less. And as we move to the right, it's becoming more. So when you're doing your less than or greater than signs, remember which way you're supposed to be heading on the number line with your arrow, okay? The last thing I want to show you is how would we graph the statement x is not equal to 5? Well, we'd actually use the open circle, which means not included, and our arrows would go both directions. This is saying that x is not 5, but it could be anything to the left or right of it. It shows all the amounts that are included, just not 5. So even 4.99 or 5.01 would be included. So that includes the numbers in between 4 and 5 and the numbers in between 5 and 6. See? As tiny of fractions or decimals that they can be, they would be included as long as it's not exactly 5. Okay? So we're going to continue on talking about two-part inequalities and graphing them. And I'll see you in 7.3b. Hit the like button if my videos are helping you so I know. Bye.